good at YouTube? It's your girl, Lady LSC here. And this video is going to tell you a little bit about me. I'm trying not to make this a long video because we are running down to the last minute with these videos because of the simple fact. The season premiere of Saints and Sinners, which you know I said, which is a dead giveaway. That's my one of my favorite shows. Um, it comes on tonight. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I don't miss that. And it's, a, it's actually going to be on very soon. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. But before I get to this video, please do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All right? And if you didn't get to see, check out the uh, shout out part two video. And if I missed you in that uh, video, please comment below in that video with your YouTube channel's name and pound shout out. All right. That way I'll know you want to shout out and I'll get you in the next one. Um, but let's get. So. First and foremost, Lady LSC of Common Sense is not my real name. It's my nickname. Um, it stands for Lyrical Spiritual Christian. Now, don't let that get to your head. You think Lyrical Spiritual Christian. Wait, she said Christian. She, she Didn't she do a video about Bible thumping people? She ain't gonna start preaching, right? No. I'm the type of Christian, I'm the 100% honest Christian. Like, I'm that Christian of which if I get up in the middle of the night, stump my foot at the damn end of the bed, I'm not saying gosh darn it. I'm saying all that other stuff <laughs> that Christians ain't supposed, they quote unquote don't say. <laughs> think I'm lying. I'm serious. Some of y'all think that Christians literally don't curse or never have cursed. They've never done anything sinful. That's a lie. Half the people you see in the church right now. Yeah, I, it, it lives true. This is actually something you hear in us. Two can play that game. Um, that's common sense that I am a movie lover. But in two can play that game, they said it. It's true. All right. The same ones you see singing hallelujah, praise the Lord in the choir. On Sunday morning, are the, some of the same people you seen shaking their ass at the club Saturday night. All right? And really, in Charlotte, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. So, literally, I, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, that um, Christians don't curse and they don't keep it 100 because they do. All right? Um, just certain ones. They, they think they holy, holy. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, also, there's one part you will not get. Um, that one part you will not get in this video is if I'm involved with somebody or dating someone at this point in time, my private life will be will stay private. There is another video where I tell you what my sexuality is. Because so many people are very judgmental. They look at how you dress and they go, they automatically assume you're one way. When it ain't even that way. Alright. Um, so, you most definitely will want to go check out that video. But, um, when it comes down to me, don't judge a book by its cover. Because my switch up game is very notorious. I can sit here right now. Prime example, I got on a t-shirt, as y'all see. I got on a hat. And I got on shorts. No lie. Alright? But just as easily as I got on this, I could switch it up in a heartbeat. And I have on some a dress or a skirt. Or I got on a Calvin Klein business suit. And I'm ready. I got on a Calvin Klein business suit with heels. And I'm ready to go. I'm so serious. Alright? Like that that's the God honest truth. Like this is don't don't get it twisted. <laughs> okay. It's my day off. I'm at home. I'm relaxed. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm not finna get all dressed up and everything for y'all. 
no offense okay um but yeah um i'm a gamer that's one part that actually is common sense i am a gamer um got some reviews that'll be coming up one of this has already been a review done by many youtubers but i'm gonna do it a little bit different i'm gonna actually do a verbal uh review plus a actual me playing the game review so i could show you what i mean when i tell you know i'm telling you things throughout the video but that's just a heads up that's just one and then you got this one and you know so on so on and so on i got other games so i'm gonna be um, doing reviews on but um yeah i am actually a gamer i'm also like i said it before i am a huge movie lover i'm a virgo so i am your virgo to a t with a twist all right when i say that i'm a virgo to a t, you know to a t with a twist this is what i mean i am that bold blunt overprotective um <laughs> when i was younger i was a jealous type the extremely jealous type now that i'm older I'm not, I, I grew out of that shit. Like, like if that means anything, I really grew out of that shit because it was pointless. You know what I'm saying? Once I realized it was pointless and everything, I started growing out of that stage of being jealous because Virgos can be very jealous. Um, but I grew out of that stuff. Uh, I also grew out of this stage of where I was like, okay, I, you know, I want it to be accepted. Some Virgos always want to be accepted by everyone that they're around. I grew out of that stage because the simple fact, you can't please everybody. You can't. You can barely please yourself sometimes. So, you know, to be out here trying to please everybody and their mama, you can't do that. I it takes It's time consuming. Who wants to waste all that time on trying to please everybody and their mama? You can't do that. Um... Uh, at the end of the day, you're not going to be happy doing that, by the way. But, um, that's one thing that I did grow out of, uh, as well as, because now I'm literally, like, almost a loner. <laughs> I'm kind of a loner because I, I don't know. I get to those, you know, time periods where I'm like, you know, I don't mind being around people. Then, then I get to that point where I'm like, I, I, I it's too many people. <laughs> like, it's too many people. Something's bound to happen. Like, literally, I get in that mindset when I'm around too many people. I'm like, okay, it's too many people around here. Like, yo, something's bound to happen. <laughs> because when I was younger, that was what really went down. Like, you'd be around so many people and something went down. Um, and that's why I just, you know, once I got older, I'm almost 30. I'll be 30 next year. So, literally, um, that's one thing that I actually... You know, said, okay, look, I, I, I want to be around a whole lot of people, which now I'm, you know, I'm going to have to get back in the habit of being around a lot of people because, you know, if you see me out and about, I don't want you to be skittish or be like, I don't know if I want to go up to her. I might, you know, piss her off or something like that. <laughs> no, if you see me out and about, come up to me, say, hey, I'm going to say, hey, back. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take pictures together, I'm. Of course, I'm not going to turn you down. You know, I'm going to be like, of course. Yeah, we can take pictures together. Yeah, sure. You know, um, you want to do a video together? You want to do a Snapchat video? Okay, sure. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type to basically will turn you away. Uh, I'm very friendly and everything like that. Um, too some, too friendly, too kind. <laughs> All right, but that, I'm going to put it like this. Don't let the kindness fool you. Um. I'm kind, of, I'm kind to an extent as well. Don't let my kindness, uh, don't take my kindness as my weakness, should I say. Sorry. Like I said, I'm looking back and forth at the screen and the time. Um, but anyway, like I said, that's something. Um, I also have a ventricular shunt. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Isn't that what Curtis used to do on uh, House of Pain? Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah. I had uh, a ventricular shunt placed in when I was a baby. I was born three pounds, eight ounces, and I was a premature baby. Yeah. 
I was a very small baby that many people did were very afraid to hold me. <laughs> All right, at that weight, yeah, they were very afraid to hold me. But um, they placed it in because when you're preemie, you know, you have that 50 50 chance that something could go wrong with your development or um, so on and so forth, you know. But with me, they placed the ventricular shunt in because my ventricles were enlarging at a faster pace than which they should have been. Medical terms, okay? Dummy terms. Look up waterhead baby, and that would be what you would say. I suffered from hydrocephalus. Um, look that up, and you'll find out what I'm talking about. But it's I have the internal one, so you don't you can't tell that I have it. All right, um, but I do have a ventricular shunt, and it drains from here. I'm actually touching. All the way down and inside, and it's so long because I had uh, I've had what three surgeries on my shunt. Um, yeah, three surgeries on my shunt since I uh, was placed in when I was a baby. And for y'all to know, when I say I'm a Virgo, y'all probably want to know what Virgo I am. I am a September Virgo. September 11th is my birthday. I'm an 89 baby. That's why some of the music nowadays, I'm just like looking at it like, I don't get it. <laughs> All right. And that's another thing. What kind of music I'm into? I'm actually into a plethora of different music because when I was in school, I was in the marching band and so on and so forth. So I'm into a lot of different music. I am not one to stray away from classical music because I know about Bach and Beethoven and so on and so forth. So like, I also know about old school Temptations and you know, you you gotta. I I just been surrounded my whole entire life with different plethora of music. So. I never stayed with one. And the music of today, I listen to some of it. Cardi B, of course, I listen to her. Um, of course, I mentioned in another video, Demetria McKinney. Love her music. I actually can relate to her music more than most artists nowadays. So, like, uh, definitely listen to her. Um, but I'm mainly old school. Tupac, Biggie. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm into that. You know, um, but that is a little bit about me. I don't have any children, if you were wondering. Um, but that's it. Uh, got the born and raised here in Charlotte. Went to school in NASCAR Tech. Studied for CNA nursing. And I've been doing security for years. Um, have worked at automotive dealerships um, in Charlotte and that's it so I actually have told everything all in one video there is not gonna be a second one 